We are replacing the fridge with the new residential fridge. The old one is, the, I think it's Domatic 1200. It's uh, pretty big and very heavy. That one has been out for a while now. And we prepared the, uh, this is the new replacement unit. It's a Whirlpool 11.9 cubic inches. In. The capacity is almost the same as the previous one, but the size is a lot smaller. Let's see the the area here. So these panels need to be pre-wired before I put in the fridge. Otherwise, the wires behind this is really difficult to to do. Let's see this area. These are the wires, and once the fridge is in, uh, it will be hidden away. And for the vent, I have sealed that on the rooftop. I sealed the the, the vent. I removed the vent entirely and then put a one aluminum panel on top and then here i use the foam boards in this area i use three one inch thick foam bo boards cut to fit the hole here and on here uh, there's another vent and uh, uh, this is the added foam board and also for the door itself vent door uh, I have some spray foam on there to be further sealed. And then obviously the area is cleaned and uh, prepared and the old glues has been removed. And this is the uh, the water line for the ice neck. I will be able to connect it uh, once I put the fridge in. I'm securing this fridge to the frame. Uh, I this is our second fridge actually. Last fridge I drilled a hole at exactly this point here, right next to the frame. I thought, well, this is a pretty safe place, but it turns out there's actually refrigerant lines right behind this panel. So when I drilled through this place, the freon would leak, and that fridge has to be ditched out. So this time I'm using VHV tape, uh, taping this L bracket onto the top of the fridge and then securing this bracket onto this frame. And it should be very secure still. So uh, for the secure of the fridge, other than the top there, I also put some screws in the back. Now this is what I said earlier, uh, the back wall with the foam board and some other foam tapes on the side. So it's, uh, it's not only secured, uh, almost weather sealed, but it's also insulated and it's removable so this back area is serviceable let me get this away so this is obviously the back of the fridge and the water line is connected right here and for the secure of the fridge itself there i put two screws one here 
So screw through this this bracket onto the floor right here. And then this was an original hole. There there is some hole here. So I've just put in the number eight screw through that. And this is a screw that I drilled hole. And then same thing, secure to the floor. And the, the AC connection is secure, tucked in here. And the water line is also tucked in here. And then for that back. And also for this door, as I said earlier, this was the same foam board. And then these are the spray foam. And also on the outside, I put a very thin bead of silicone just uh, to make it as a almost watertight and then uh, sealed better. For this here is the foil tape I put in here. Um, this is a sticky side actually. There might be a better way to uh, put this thing so that it won't be sticky. It won't <laughs> stick dust. But for now, it should work. These, these uh, brackets were made last night. It was secured pretty good. Some additional brackets at the bottom here. This is also VHB taped to the bottom of the fridge and then screwed to this standoff as a, so it can lift off this fridge a little bit, make it uh, even. Now on the side here, on the top right here is a custom made bracket. So this is just uh, a, a cut piece of uh, one eighth inch aluminum bar. And then this is the stainless steel L bracket bought from Home Depot, three inch long, and then used two bolts to secure it. And then these were number eight screws screwed to the ceiling. And here is the VHB taped to the side of the fridge. I don't want any penetration to the fridge anymore, so it won't puncture the refrigerant lines. This is the bottom of the fridge. So same thing right here is the bracket. It's the stainless steel three inch long L bracket and VHB taped to the side of the fridge. And then bottom is screwed with just one number eight screw because this VHB tape is not very strong. One will do the trick anyways. So this is actually over a year after we installed the fridge. So you can see the fridge is still like this, everything stayed the same. Um, obviously it's loaded with food right now. And those bars had held in place and it's very strong. We have driven, I think, uh, close to 10,000 miles and everything stayed here. In the bottom, we still have this bar here and again it stayed uh, very well here um, the fridge I added a lock so uh, this is bought from online but uh, it's made for the RV style fridge and this fridge door is much thicker than the RV style fridge so I added some you know custom things it's uh, not best built but uh, it gets the job done so when we are on the road we just do this and it will be locked, the fridge won't open. And on the side here, well, I planned uh, to do some uh, custom shelves here, but haven't had the time to do that yet. You can see we used that as a storage. Here's our cutting board and some of the bags on top. And in the bottom, we can keep our uh, camping bags and uh, what's not here. This is the vent cover. So anyway, it's a storage area. So overall, I think this design is very good. It's held in place and it works as intended. This fridge is really nice. It uses very tiny little amount of uh, electricity. We run that on batteries all day, every day, 24 hour. And uh, it keeps food very cold, even on hot days like today. Is uh, what 90 something degrees probably in Texas here. Well, I call this project a success. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.